all right guys uh, in today's class you'll be learning about 2.11 it's a new topic it's a completely new project so take down the heading as 2.11 put your dates uh, take down the heading as lcd lcd is a display of course uh, we know that there were uh, initially there were crt tvs cathode ray tubes tvs and then now we had this uh, lcd tvs now we have led tvs right so we are talking about lcd okay we'll be learning about crt and leds little later but lcd means liquid crystal display So in liquid crystal display, the mechanism is uh, slightly different. It uses a polarizer and uh, it instead of uh, projecting the image directly onto the screen, it, pro it projects through this polarizer. So the mechanism, the built mechanism is slightly different, but we are not talking about the built mechanism, but we are, we are actually learning how to use this LCD in our Arduino code. How to use this LCD and display some data onto this liquid crystal display so basically if you've seen uh, a microwave a calculator you know and some of the small screens they use this lcd display and i'll show you how it looks like from our arduino kit the kit is usually there in your school but unfortunately you know because we are learning everything virtual let me show you how it looks like So this is an LCD. I hope you guys can see this. Let me check. Yeah, the one that I'm holding right now is an LCD screen. And this particular LCD has 16 pins. You see that there are 16 pins. And these pins directly get connected to your breadboard. And you'll take some connections from the breadboard to your Arduino. And you can actually manually uh, program this, what you need to display on the screen and uh, that's what i wanted to show you today and this is relatively easy but in the coding we are not going to use the blocks instead we are going to use the actual code so this is going to be a slightly different project so let us all go back to our uh, tinkercad and let me show you how it looks like so th this is the basic design of the lcd I'm using one kilo ohm resistor and all the 16 pins needs to be connected to this digital pins. And uh, we are not going to use any analog pins. We are going to use all the digital pins and the breadboard. And there are no other components other than cables and one kilo ohm resistor to the LED or LED cathode, because we always connect oh, a resistor to the cathode. So that's a signal, that's a symbol that we are going to connect one kilo ohm resistor to the LCD display. And when I start the simulation, okay, let me show you the code first. So the code looks something like this. So I was doing this for uh, the Geek House, so my other after school program. So I'm gonna show you how it works. So when I start the simulation, you will see that it's going to print Geek House CS level two. CS is computer science level two. There are some students in level one, some students in level two. So I just did it for level two. But uh, this is something that we are going to do for Manzi school and your STEAM class, okay? So we are going to build a circuit so like this and then we are going to write the code and we are going to print manzi school steam grade 8 or steam grade 7 or steam grade 6 right so this is what we are going to do so for that i want you guys to open a new tinkercad and follow the exact same steps that i'm doing right now because as you've seen that the connections are not very simple because we are using 16 pins at once you need to be very cautious about what kind of connections that you are using. So I'll be showing you the connections, create a new circuit. And when you create a new circuit, don't forget to name it with your name, LCD underscore your name. It should be the name. Okay. Because some of you guys, when you're turning in your work, I'm seeing that you will have random words over here. Right, so I want you to change this to LCD underscore. In my case, I'm going to write my name, but I want you guys to write your name. Okay. 
And first thing we need is an Arduino board. The next important thing you would need is a definitely a breadboard. And finally, we would need an LCD. This LCD is called 16 cross 2 because it has 16 um, pins and it will give you two lines of output. So you have to be very cautious on how you are going to place this or where you are going to place this. At the moment, you need to align it with these holes. You see that? So I'm going to align it in a way that it is over somewhere over here. Okay, align it the exact same way that I did. So right below G and ground is over here. We see you should you should be able to see the holes of the breadboard through the holes of your LCD. So that's when you you make sure that your connections are right. Okay, the first step that we need to do is we need to take five volts and give the power to the breadboard. Connect it to the positive terminal. And make it red. And the second one is ground. And which color does the ground be? I mean, we can put it in any color, but since we are actually uh, practicing to make it black, let us keep it that way. Now, you see that. As I told you, there are 16 pins and each pin has its own significance. So you have D87, D86, D85, D84, D83, and it goes on till D80. And then you have ground, you have VCC, you have VORS, register select, register write, enable, all these kind of pins are there. There are 16 pins and we need to connect most of the pins to our Arduino board. And these connections are very important. So we'll start with the first one, that is the resistor. You need to take a 1 kilo ohm resistor and make sure that this 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected. Hold on. This way. Yeah, make sure that this 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected to the ground and the LED cathode. So the first pin that you see from the right hand side is called LED cathode and that's much, that must be connected to the ground. Okay. And then you have LED anode and we all know that LED anode must be connected to the 5 volts. Since it is connected to the 5 volts, I'm going to give it a red color. Later it becomes, my work becomes very simple and very easy when I'm actually color coordinating all my wires. Then you have four signal cables coming out from D87. 86, 85 and 84 and each one of those pins goes to 5, 4, 3, 2 from the digital pin. So for example, the pin from 5 goes to D84. Okay, I'm going to leave it as green. So all, I need to connect four pins. So I'm going to start with pin number five, connecting it to D84. Pin number four, connecting it to D85. I'm going to make this a little small, guys. This is coming on my way. Okay. But I'm going to zoom into our circuit so you guys can see this. The same way, pin number 3 must be connected to Time to start your day. Good morning. The classic sci-fi movie, The Terminator, premiered on this day in 1984. Alexa, Sorry. stop. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> and the same thing, pin number 2 
must be connected to D87. And I'm going to leave all these four pins to be in green color. And the reason why I'm doing that is because there are signal cables and we always keep the signals in green color. Now, the next and the most important things that we need to enable is at the end of this LCD. So the ground, you know that ground goes to the negative terminal. So I'm going to connect it to the negative terminal and then make it black. Right? After the ground, you have VCC, that is power. It needs power. And again, we want to connect it to 5 volts. There it is, red color. And then we have VO, that is contrast. And make sure that this contrast is also connected to your ground cable. Make it as black. Now, here comes the most important things, that is register select, register write and enable right so the register select the rs must be connected to pin number 12 and then register enable we are going to enable our led by connecting it to pin number let's say 11 Organize your cables, guys, or else it will become very clustered. So now you have to make sure that the register right is again connected to the ground terminal and color it black. That's it. So that is your circuit connection. But to make this work, right, you need to write a code. Obviously, we, we used to, we started using the blocks, but for the first time, hold on, I don't like it. But for the first time, we start, we are going to write a code and this code is going to be in C program. So please go and click on the code and obviously you have to delete this. And when you delete this, you have an option to select blocks, blocks plus text and text. In this particular example, I want you guys to select only text and when you select only text it's going to ask you whether you want to continue it or not so please continue it and then i'm going to make this a little bigger so you guys can see this one thing that you need to do is you need to delete the whole existing code and then you have to start writing the exact same thing that I'm writing and I'll be explaining you every single line what I'm writing and why I'm writing. So the first thing is, as I told you in Python, you remember when we were learning Turtle, I told you that every package or every programming language comes with a library or a package. So for this particular program to function, we need to include hash, include, there is a library called liquid crystal liquid crystal dot h so make sure to include this which is called liquid crystal dot h right and at the end of the program i'll be talking about the circuit connections one more time and i'll be showing you which connection goes to which slot so that way even though you know if you if you mess up somewhere you can actually verify it but for now, let us write down the code first and make sure that this is working. Hash include liquid crystal dot h. So by doing that, I'm actually including all the libraries that are required for me to work with an liquid crystal display or LCD screen. The first thing is liquid crystal. Make sure that you do not have any space over here. So many people create put a space and they end up getting an error. Like how I did right now, I created a space and I'm going to get an error if I leave it like this. So I'm going to remove the space. Liquid crystal space. I'm going to create a variable LCD. And what are the pins that are connected to this? LCD is connected to pin number 12, pin number 11, pin number 5, 4, 3, 2. Right? So these are the pins that are connected to my LCD screen. So that's what I'm trying to enable. And then you're going to start a new function called void setup. 
so i'll be explaining you what this void setup is uh, for now you just understand that void setup is nothing but a function and every function starts with a parenthesis and what in this particular function what i'm doing is i'm trying to tell my computer or my program that lcd should begin working and what is this LCD? I told you that it's 16 cross 2 LCD, right? So it's a 16 comma 2 and terminate it and close the parentheses. So many people do a small mistake. They forget either one of these or they forget the termination. Do not forget the termination. Make sure that your spellings are right so you will not get any error. Now, I have created one function where the LCD should start working. Okay, now LED is, LCD is working and inside the LCD, what am I supposed to do? I want to print something. I want to display something. So let me show you how I can do that. LCD, for that, let us create void loop. Void loop is again another function where it opens with a parenthesis. And inside that, I'm gonna write LCD dot set cursor. So a cursor, you know what this is right like the one that is moving on the screen is a cursor so in, in the on my lcd screen also on my lcd screen also i will have cursor and because it's 16 cross 2 i can put this cursor in two lines two horizontal lines okay so set cursor 0 comma 0 okay. next lcd dot at the first line what do i want to print print and z richmond i am not sure if i can print these many characters but let, let me try uh, man z richmond so once i print this i want to go to the next line lcd dot set cursor in my second line, I want to print. So I'm going to the second line. I'm going to put two comma one, and I'm going to print LCD dot print in class. Close for every sentence. Do you see this? I'm closing the termination. You need to follow the exact same steps for you not to get any error. Let me check. Sometimes I might also get some errors. That's it. So this is the program for your liquid crystal to work. So now I'll click on the code and it says that it moves back. And then let me start the simulation. When I start the simulation, if I get an error, it shows an error. If I don't get an error, you see that whatever I have written is printed. So if you have ever seen an AC transit bus or any kind of uh, public transportation, they use LCDs a lot to tell from which place this bus is going from, from where to where. So they use the same LCD screens and they use the similar program for you to print that, right? So see this again, when I start the simulation, it works. So now, the things that you need to notice are pin number five is going to D84. So that's what I want to write. LCD to Adreno Uno. So pin, pin number five pin D5 or digital pin 5, I'll just write it as pin 5, going to D84. So these are the connections, right? Let me go back again and see. My bad, it's pin number 84 is going to D5, right? Pin number 84 is going to D5, not 85. 84 is going to D5. Pin 4 goes to D85. Pin 3 goes to D86. Pin 2 goes to D87. Right? So these are the first major connections that we did of LCD to Arduino Uno. 
and the next set of connections are over here so these ones ground i'm not going to write ground and i'm not going to write vcc because you know that ground goes to ground and vcc goes to power cable and again vo also goes to ground and rw also goes to ground but the important things is register register select and enable so register select goes to pin number 12 this one and enable goes to pin number 11 so write this down rs or register select from lcd goes to pin 11 sorry pin 12 enable goes to pin 11. If you remember this, you can use LCD in almost all of your projects. So for example, uh, we haven't used temperature sensor yet. So in the next program, we are going to learn about how to use a temperature sensor and how to find out the temperature around you by using this temperature sensor, right? So this is the program. And make sure to write down your notes. Let me verify RS again goes to pin 12 and enable goes to pin 11. Yes, that is right. So you can stop this. You can stop your simulation. Make sure to check your uh, circuits first. Your circuit should be exactly like this. And the next thing, the most important thing that people get wrong is the code part. So the first thing is hash include liquid crystal. There is no space. And uh, see what kind of parentheses that I'm using. Those are important. And then liquid crystal space LCD. And then void setup. Void setup is nothing but to begin a function. And you're telling that LCD is going to start. And what kind of LCD that you're using is 16 cross 2. So that's the reason you put 16 comma 2. If there are some certain LEDs where you have 8 cross 1. Right, so you will just put eight comma one. Void loop, void loop is nothing but another function, and this is going to be always in a loop because whenever you change something over this, it reflects directly on your LCD. So the first step is I'm setting up the cursor at zero comma zero, the first point. So for example, you see this zero comma zero. That's the reason it started over here. 2 comma 1 is it left two boxes if you go if you see closely it left two boxes and then it started the same steam class so that's what 0 comma 0 and 2 comma 1 stands for so you're just leaving two spaces and then starting you're just starting in the first line so manzi richmond is in the first line and steam class in this in the second line so this is a program that i want you guys to do and complete it today and i'm gonna stop my recording now